I'm Simon Pearson, I'm Professor of Agri-Food Technology at the University of Lincoln. So I'm Director of um, the Lincoln Institute of Agri-Food Technology and we do agri-food related research for the industry. We're highly focused on whole food chain, so anything from uh, farming uh, all the way through to end consumers. Uh, we have a very large uh, uh, group working on energy issues in the food chain and so clearly uh, food refrigeration is very critical. Retail refrigeration uh, we think it takes about, about 4 or 5% of all of the UK carbon, so it's a significant proportion of uh, carbon generation in terms of the energy used for the refrigeration, but clearly you need refrigeration to keep food fresh and healthy and safe for, for consumers. So what we're trying to do is use as little energy as possible to keep the food as safe as possible. So my name's Edward Porter, I'm the Head of Monitoring for IMS of so, using the barn here at Rice Home, working with Lincoln, we've created this virtual store. It's actually a real store, but it's, there's no food in it, um, you know, for, for shoppers, if you like. So we've created an environment which is similar to a Tesco shop. It's the same controllers, the same cases, the same manufacturing engineering practices. All the same stuff is there. So we're able to test the speed, but we're also able to, while we're testing the speed and turning things off, we're able to see what the impact of that is. We wouldn't have been doing this project without the KTM. Uh, the project arose uh, really out of Paul Huggett meeting, just on, a, on, a, on an off chance meeting, it was a networking meeting where Paul came to sort of meet, meet the team, try and understand what we do, uh, we, we explained our role, and then uh, out of that we clearly understood that um, uh, there's going to be some very large Innovate UK funding coming up, some areas of, of interest, and then with Paul he helped put the team together. Uh, and that's just one example, so uh, uh, following on from that initial relationship, we have very regular updates with the KTN, and it's, it's on many projects um, that, uh, that we're involved in. Uh, it works very well for us at Lincoln because we do very uh, applied research, very industrial focused research, and KTN's clearly got this sort of fantastic network across industry that we can, we can work with and help match our skills to, to the to needs of industry. While the project has been playing out, we've been spending a lot of time with uh, retailers over in the US. Um, one of our very big customers over there, we have uh, proof of concepts lined up where we're going to, at some stage in the very near future, we're going to be using what we have learned in this project to launch a brand new demand site response project with an entirely different retailer over in the US. It's a very large scale project, so that's done several things. It's built capacity uh, around the university, so we've got a number of postdocs who are working on the project, a number of engineers who are working on the, on, the, on the project, so they're all actively engaged. It's built capacity in terms of capital facilities, so we've got a unique uh, Tesco store on site which no one else has got in the UK. This issue of power transmission, load balancing, the impact of the uh, changes of uh, generation uh, equipment going onto the grid, whether it's wind or solar, this issue is going to become more and more difficult as, as, we, as, as, as time progresses. Uh, we can't avoid it, there's going to be more and more renewables going on the grid and whether we're working in uh, the food system or, or we're trying to work out how to use the grid to charge uh, EV vehicles or whatever, it's going to be very, very important. So it's a very important foundation stone for the university and we see lots of opportunity to build on this for additional research.